So I had this place in mind for us to take a look at because I found it the other day. Well, I've got kind of gone past this. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Hidden Gems. It's Sunday afternoon and it's completely noisy around here. So we're going to skedaddle out of the sewer and head over to the HOD portal room and to TNT because we have a few places that I would like to explore. Um, I'm hoping beyond hope that the portal that was closed yesterday is back open. Um, Please don't disappoint me. Please be open. Yes, it is open. This is a great day. This is a great day indeed. So I wanted to check out the Twisted Dragon City because I stepped in to that portal a couple days ago and eye candy, beautiful, gorgeous, all of the adjectives that you can think of to describe this particular area. Also, there was a special request for me to visit a settlement and there was a cute little story behind it. So I wanted to share that and I got permission from the person who posted it um, to share it with you all and um, I'll read it. I'll make sure I read it. So um, but first I need to go ahead and get that from the forums. But before we do, we're going to go ahead and go into the Twisted Dragon City. This is our next stop. Also, yesterday I was watching um, Devilish Beck's stream and Foxy was talking, was taking Bex through, um, well, let's just quickly just go over here real quick. Now, I couldn't tell you where this was because I was watching the stream and I was doing other things at the same time. But um, in this building here, there are secret passageways that I had no idea um, existed. That's what I love about some builders. They put these little hidden nooks and crannies and I'm all about that. Like I try to do the same thing. Um, maybe not as, um, strategic as some of these other builders are, but, um, yeah, I couldn't tell you where this was. It's somewhere in here. <laughs> Obviously it's somewhere in here, but, um, I, I couldn't tell you where it is, but if you want to take the time to find it, there's a couple like places. I know there was one in a broom closet. So you can, if you can find the broom closet and it's labeled the broom closet, I'm putting in air quotes like you can see me. Um, just like get, go in the broom closet and as you walk in, look to your, your far left, like in the back to the left and walk up that little slope and you'll find something kind of cool in there. And I think it leads you to a maze. Okay, the connection's a little disrespectful today. Are we all right? Are we good? Okay. <laughs> so, um, just, I think it leads you into a maze. Um, and yeah, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Is it gorgeous? That's not what I was thinking of. I was thinking like, it's a maze, okay? <laughs> it's a maze. So yeah, also, um, hmm, what was I, I, oh, okay. So I was like trying to think of what else I wanted to say, but that is all, that is all. So let's go over to, um, the Twisted Dragon before it, the portal like closes up on me. Oh, it's four weeks. We're good. We're good. Okay. So we're stepping through and first off, look to well, okay, look in front of you. Look at these. So I'm not sure if these are the makings of um, the beginnings of trees because it looks like it looks like these are like um, Nordic type or um, I don't know, trees. They're going to be trees or something or buildings either way. The design is stunning. This whole area uh, was surprising. I had no idea it was here. I kept thinking that it was um, the other guild I'd visited before where it was, uh, there was like a, a dragon building contest. We have visitors. Um, okay, I was gonna check if there's a meter. Not that it mattered because no meteor is gonna fall within a beaconed area, but 
So this was one of the first things that I saw. And yeah, it gives me like um, almost like a Native American kind of look um, or feel. It's gorgeous. That's all I know. I have no idea what these are going to be. If these are just um, well-designed trees or if these are going to be um, housing or buildings or what have you. Okay, I didn't see this when I stepped in before. So let's just jet over here really quick. Oh my gosh. It's gorgeous here. This is one of those style of builds that have always been my favorite. Like right now I'm building a more futuristic look, um, but to be honest, my favorite build style, um, I would say would be this, like a medieval, um, old English, or, you know, even a Romanesque kind of style. Those like ancient, not ancient, but older style, Victorian type builds. Um, this isn't exactly Victorian, but it's um, kind of gives me that old English feel, maybe a little bit of medieval mixed in there. Um, I love the, you guys aren't here to listen to what kind of architectural style I like to build in the game. Oh, look at these columns. Who would have thought to even use this? I like the lights, but the columns. This is such a good idea. If I were building this style now, mm, I might have to steal that, or I would have had to steal that, but I'm not, so I won't. But whoever else is building like this and you wanted some ideas, come check this out. Look at this. That's gorgeous, right? I like the reds and the yellows. Um, red, yellow, this looks like a silk yellow, I'm not sure. Let me see, do I have a, yeah, let me get my coat them out. That's a stale tan, that is not a silk yellow. Don't listen to me, I don't know what I'm talking about. What is this? That's warm yellow, I was gonna say that's silk yellow. What is this? That is stale tan, still the same color, just a different style block. Mm, okay, moving on, uh, let's, let's go up here. Ooh. This is gorgeous. My goodness. I I love when builders add that extra detail outside the window because it just it's just it just pops. It's not flat. Um, very obviously, it's not flat. It's gonna be a little more three D, and it it just looks good. And I fell in the water. <laughs> okay. Um. So. It continues on over this way. I love this. It's down here. Ooh. It's gorgeous. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. This is nice too. Oh, look at me. I'm not even paying attention. I'm just looking at the build and not watching where I'm walking. It's a typical day for me in real life. Um, okay. So, we gotta like, uh, Ooh, what's this? Courtyard. Nice fountain. I like it. I like that color. I never find a reason to use this bright moss, but I find that people that do use it, use it well, and I do like it. I just, I've never been daring enough to use that big, those bold bright colors, um, like the bright moss. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll use it in my, my current build. I mean, my current build uses a lot of like neon signs and stuff because of the theme that I'm going for. So it might work for me. So maybe I'll try it. So let's head over to this area. Let's see what this was, what is this going on over here? Mm, I love these columns too. These are nice. Is this somebody's workshop? Looks like it. I don't know why I said it like that. Why is it so high up? Oh, I see. <laughs> I was about to judge you. Look, I'm sorry, but still, this is this is really hot. <laughs> I'm just giving you, I'm just giving you a hard time. I'm I'm really just kidding. Okay, so this is what I originally saw when I first walked in. Like I made a beeline for these these um, build here and this. And then there's a build over to my right. Um, and I completely like ignored. Oh no, was it this over here? Either way, there's a lot to see, okay? 
So we're just going to take a little bit at a time. Um, this is a brew shop and a food shop. Okay, so it's like a restaurant. Can we get it? <gasps> this is such a good idea. That's cool. What is this? Post office. Oh, it's closed. Can't go in. Let's go in and see what's up in here. So nicely done. Okay, it looks like... Oh, okay, yeah, I think I did see this up here, but look how, you know what this reminds me of? I, I said tribal or like Native American. Um, it looks like the um, Torin area in World of Warcraft. I always reference World of Warcraft a, l a lot, probably because I played it for a very long time. Um, it's probably one of my first, like, first serious, serious computer games outside of like Mech Warriors and stuff. Need for Speed, but um, I played a lot of <laughs> World of Warcraft, so I often reference it. But it does kind of give me that same style. Um, maybe not as tribal as the uh, Torin area, but still with the wood and the stone and the metal, it, I love it. I love this. And once again, my dog steals my blanket right from underneath me. Well, it's the battle of the blankets. Seriously. She has her own blanket, but yet she likes to steal the one I'm using. Um, okay, so let's head over to this other building over here because I want you guys to see this. Um, down here, down here, down here. Okay. So this is what I this is where we just came from. Ooh, look at that. <gasps> look at the steeple. So pretty. Okay. So, we're gonna check this other build out. Let me see what this is. Oh! <gasps> Draco Machine. Okay, is this? I feel like this name is familiar. Oh! Draconis Monty. I've been on this Sovereign World before. So, it was the same Sovereign World um, that. Ooh! Look at this. It was the same Sovereign World that I um, that I was on before, that it was all like the dragons and stuff like this. What? Oh my gosh. I missed this too. Wow. And look, it's, it's not like the most expensive blocks. This is just igneous. All of this is igneous, right? Yeah, sedimentary, igneous. Some wood. I mean, nothing like super expensive, but the, the obviously the use of it, the way it's used, and the placement and the chiseling. Wow. Um, and this kind of goes with um, I forget who Draco. I guess it's his name. He apparently likes the medieval look because he does a lot of dragons, and of course, dragons were. Um, oh, this is. Oh, okay. I see what you. I see what you did. I'm picking out what you're putting down right here. Um, I guess dragons were a myth in that particular time period. But yeah, this looks so good. Keep up the good work over here. Um, there are obviously still a few different build styles in the area, so we don't want to. We'd be remiss if we just completely walk past everyone else's build just to check out the ones that. permission okay let's see how it is uh, hmm. oh okay I like this so the columns what is this no this is a uh, marble border isn't it hmm okay I like that that's a good idea I would have never thought to do that this is why I like coming to visit y'all's builds because of ideas that I can kind of um, pick from certain things that I like. Let me get my grapple and hop down here. And what do we have over here? Looks like we got a little lighthouse. And that's where we were just to wait. Did we see this? 
Yeah, we saw that. Okay, yeah, we did see that. We saw that too. Okay, so it was back this way that we wanted to check out. Yeah, see, there's a couple of build styles here. Like I would say a few different types of build styles. Am I missing something? Did I not? Oh, here it is. And this is the icing on the cake right here. I mean, I love these two, but this right here is my favorite on this planet so far. Okay, look at the bridge. The windmill. Look at this. Okay, so from what I was told, this is, do you know, I'm sure you all do know Shady Cat. Shady Cat has that magnanimous build over on that one planet that she's on. Um, I believe um, mm, Marcel's on that planet as well. So I was told this is her husband's build. Please don't quote me on that, but someone said it was. Uh, low beam? I don't know. Someone said it. If it's not, charge it to my head, not my heart. Someone else said it. I was just, I was feeding off of the information they gave me. So whoever that was gave me fake news and um, it's, it's not my fault. But look at the detail. Oh, that is so neat. Okay. This is gorgeous. I want to check out this um, bridge up here. I don't know if we can get up here. Why didn't I take the stairs? <laughs> Like I had some sense instead I climbed up the wall like a heathen. Okay, I don't think you can get up here. Is there a way? Ooh, look at the chandelier. Ah, I love this. Oh, do we have visitors? Okay, this is the kitchen. Okay, we do have steps. This is so nice. I like this. Okay. Great use of iron. Okay, so this is not, oh, what do we have here? The engine room, clever, very clever. Okay, I wanna look, I wanna go to all the way to the top. Normally I, I skip this. Okay, so this is, I like the wood beams. This is gorgeous. I like the iron with the wood. The oct uh, what is it, octagrid with the wood. Nice combination. Okay, so I assume we can get to the... Okay, nice bed. Is that one of those... What do they call those beds that fold up? That there's... It's called something. <laughs> um, so I don't... Maybe you can go out this way. Yeah, here it is, I think. I am determined to walk across that bridge. <laughs> Where is it at? Where is it at? Oh. I'm just gonna make my way over there. Okay, um. Let's just go this way. It's right in the middle. Okay, obviously I'm not gonna get there. But, um, I just wanted to see how they did it. Um. I'm just good here. I'm gonna end up killing myself. Let me, you know what? Let's just walk across like the heathen we are. There it is, right there. Was there a door? Yes. <laughs> Watch, I had like walked right past it. Ooh. Let's go here. Okay. Yeah. So we could have. We did pass it. This is. This is well done. Look at this. This is so good. Okay. And another tower over here. Anything up here? Some shelving. Yeah. I am not jealous in the slightest. So they use sand for the blades. Is that so? Yeah. Huh. That looks good. That's a that's a nice choice of block. I would have never thought to use sand. But it works. Okay. Hang down. This is really, really good. So it's like a steampunk almost look. Um yeah, kinda gives me a, 
I would say maybe a mixture of steampunk in there. I'm down with steampunk. That's kind of why it went with the cyber the cyberpunk thing because cybernetics and steampunk. And yeah, so this is what I wanted to show you guys before. I couldn't do it yesterday. Um, and unfortunately the portal was closed, but I'm so glad that they managed to open the portal again because I was sad to myself when I came over here. I was all excited about showing you guys this area and I walked up to the portal and it was gone. And obviously I didn't know where it was because I never like record or mark an area that I'm exploring. Why I don't do that, I don't know. Because um, if I had done that, maybe I could, oh! <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Happy little accident. What is this? Same. Oh, this is Antana. Oh. This is their store. Oh. Well, let's check the store out. Okay, this is one massive store. Wow. Oh, and you guys don't have any walls here? Do you know how dangerous this is? <laughs> this is nice though. It's really nice. Okay. All right, so let's head back into uh, here. So if I had known this, I could have just went through this, this portal and been where I needed to be. Okay, well, while we're here, let's just check out some of these portals and see where they lead. Oh. Nice workshop. I can appreciate a good metal workshop, or just metal in general. I, I can appreciate that. Workers of the world unite. Rocks for castle. Oh, so some, oh. So this is you who made the castle. Nice. I like the workshop. I love the use of glass. The petroleum coming in. This is cool. Um, where is this at? Now I want to see where this is at. Let me let me walk out of the store. Oh, okay. Are we? Are we? Okay. This is no. Can we get out, or is it just a portal in? So we can't get out. Oh, okay. Oh well. Guild hub. Oh, the top. Okay. Check this out. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, listen. <laughs> Please don't do that to me. <laughs> okay. I had no idea this was under here. I like it. Plus, I really like this road. You know, this road looks familiar. You know whose road this looks like? George George, Gregorio, George, AKA our favorite smelly couch guy. Um, yeah, that's what this reminds me of. No, I'm sorry, wrong builder. Ex I apologize, this is Pier, Pier Kosas, our favorite builder. <laughs> Not that much about Pier, um, but I know that I love his builds. So this looks like his road. Um, yeah. I what I mean by road, if you go into his greenhouse um, over in his uh, build, his build area, his main build, um, I realize he probably has many, uh, but this is the one I call his main build. It might not even be. But if you go into hit where his factory type build is, and like you walk into the portal and you look to your left, you'll see the greenhouse. If you walk in the greenhouse, you'll see the same road set up. And I, I love it. I've wanted to copy it myself, but it um, it didn't work out. So <laughs> um, you did a good job. Whoever did this road, you did a way better job than I could ever. Um, so it looks really good. And if that wasn't what you were going for, um, if that wasn't your intention, um, Either way, you know, if if it wasn't your intention to look like Pericosis, which it probably wasn't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. So ignore me. Ignore me. Um, who else? This is Elvis. Well, let's, let's look at El let's look like Elvis. So this is okay. 
this is where we were. Elvis, we were talking about <laughs> how high your machines were up. Um, so I'm just giving you a mess. Dragon Tamer. What is this? This is going here. Um, it's the guild workshop. Okay, so this build, we were here. Yeah, okay. Back out on the hub. And looks like that's pretty much all we can see right in our direct area. I don't want to do too much exploring outside of here. But I just wanted you guys to see this. Again, this is through the Twisted Dragon. If you cannot find it, if where the portal's closed, you can go through the DK Mall. And if you go to the front of where the portals are now, and um, if you're facing away from the portals, your back's to the portals, you could make a left and walk all the way down. You'll see that really big store area and then there should be a portal onto the Sovereign World. My directions suck, I'm sorry, I'm from the Midwest. So we give directions by like landmarks. <laughs> um, okay, so the next, um, next, I wanted you guys to see. I'm trying to think. Yeah, okay. So this couple um, messaged me, or I don't know if it's the couple or if it's just the, the one person. Which I think it was the guy who messaged me on the Boundless website or forum and basically told me that he wanted me to come and look at his, he and his girlfriend's, um, his and his girlfriend's settlement area because they um, met on Boundless, and um, which I thought was really cute. He's from New Hampshire. She's from Texas, I believe. And they met, and he up and moved from New Hampshire to Texas to be with her. Um, it's a cute little love story. So the place is called Blue Something. Um, okay. He said it was on the second floor. Okay. Blue something on the second floor. Blue something on the second. Here it is. Bardo Blue Crossing. This must be new because I don't remember this next to Marcel. But maybe it was and I just didn't see it. Um, but let's take a look. Oh, there's somebody here. Okay. Oops. Um, ooh, look at this. Oh, I like this. Oh. See, I love blue and gray and white. So I, you know I already like this, right? Because these are like my favorite colors together. Seriously, these are all my favorite colors together. And uh, this is cute. Okay, this is cute. This is gorgeous. Ooh, it's a big tower. So let me guess. The boyfriend built this tower? <laughs> I'm just asking. I'm asking for a friend because guys seem to always build the towers now i could be completely wrong and i've embarrassed myself and a girl built this tower but this just has guy written all over because guys for some reason have to build towers why why not that i'm i don't have anything against the towers because i like the towers i just think these are all by guys but my goal is to make my own tower so <laughs> maybe i shouldn't be jumping to conclusions Ooh, bathhouse check it out Oh. Oh. Chilling. I like it. Okay. So what's down here? Oh, a nice little storage. Oh. Hey. Hi, yay. <laughs> okay. Um. So let's see what else they got going on down here. So their workshop. So this is, I guess. Um, okay, so is blue dragonfly? So it's called blue Bartle, right? So who is? Oh, it's Bartle blue. So who's Bartle? Oh gosh. Hello. How are you? Don't mind me. I'm just recording. <laughs> okay. So let's run up here. This is where she came through. Um, might as well just check it out. Oh! Okay. Ooh, okay. Um, what's this say? Want to set up a store? Just ask. 
Bruised pies. Um, oh, what is this? Is this a Pokemon? Oh! Is that what this is? Seriously? I need to start watching my stuff. I really do. I... Really? <laughs> Noobing it up again. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's not. That is. What is this? This is a cat, right? That's a cat. Oh. I feel like I've seen that before, but I'm not really sure. Let's go in here. So, it's a kitchen. Nice fireplace. Dining room table living room with a nice couch. All you need is a TV on the wall. Um, I got a patio furniture. Oh, the pool. Oh, I like this pool. This is fancy. It's down here. Ooh. That's pretty. Mm, somebody likes blue. I can dig it like your walls. This gives me HSC feel right here with the walls. I know I say that a lot, but you know, everybody has a certain style and you can tell HSC style like from, yeah, just like you can tell when Pierre built something or when George built something, they just have a particular signature, um, you know, or it can be to like Dutch and just build everything extremely well. Um, and I'm not jealous at all. Oh, look at the train. Okay, wait, let's see if I can get a better view on the train. Okay, scrapple up here. Oh, I finally got the name. Bardo Blue Crossing. It's a train crossing. That's pretty good. I was trying to build a train. It didn't work out. It just did not. I don't have that. <laughs> I don't have that special time. Wait a minute. Is this easy peasy? Okay, it looks that looks like easy peasy over there. I could be wrong. This is Merrick's, right? Easy peasy's on Merrick's. So, is this a part of easy peasy? And I just, whoa. Oh, good thing I was looking. <laughs> um. Okay, there's the tower where we came out. Oh, let me check out this bridge over here. Um, okay, so yeah, now, oh, okay. It is Easy Peasy. Well, this is their hub. I got it because Easy Peasy has a train station too. So this looks similar. Um, so I was wondering if this was the same guild. Um, yeah, I wanted to check out this bridge. Oh, so this is where it went across. So I just ran in here and ran back. I like this bridge. Oh, that's nice. It's got a little lighthouse and the farm. Okay. This is a cute little area. What's down here? Okay, so it looks like it's just more workshop. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, this looks really nice. And you know, it's sad and I feel bad about this because I never want anyone to think that, um, oh, this is a good idea, trash cans. I never want anyone to think that their area is not worthy of me to come over and to look. Have you seen me build? Okay, enough said. Don't ever think that your area is not worthy to be, to be filmed. Who am I? Who am I? No one. I am a peon. So is that what I think that is? No comment. <laughs> no comment. No comment. Um, so yeah, I never think that. Um, if I ever get to the point where I'm that um, sadity that I can't come over and look at your area, um, then I need to shut my, mm, the lava, I need to shut my YouTube channel down. Seriously. So never think that, all right? Okay. If you saw my first build, you would understand. I mean, even now, 
most of my builds are square so, or rectangular or some form of the other with just some detail added i'm i'm not I, yeah i'm not some grandiose builder if that even makes sense i'm just not so please don't ever think that ever i like these colors it's a nice road so i'm thinking that this is easy peasy um, over here, it feels like Land of Plenty. I think this might be, and I don't want to run into Easy Peasy, but I just want to check this building out because um, I don't remember this building over here. But I think, yeah, I do remember this pyramid. So yeah, this is Easy Peasy. Okay, so we went to see Twisted Dragon. We've come over here to check out Bartle Blue Crossing. So. I got one more spot that I want to take a look at, so I will be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here because I've been recording for a while now, um, and then I don't want this video to get too, too long because my videos have been getting longer and longer, it seems, every week, and I know nobody is sitting down to watch a 45 or one hour video with me running around boundless that just ain't gonna happen so i definitely don't want to waste you guys time because you have things to do and so do i all right guys until next time i have been pixelated twix and she is luna shale until next time ciao